Love handles are generally not loved. There is no joy in having to loosen one's belt as time relentlessly marches on. We don't look upon pudginess as an attractive feature. But what impact does it have on our health? There is no question that obesity has severe health consequences. But what about just being a touch portly? In science, numbers rule. And when it comes to body weight, the relevant number is the body mass index, or BMI. This is calculated by dividing body weight in kilograms by square of the height in meters. In general, the higher the BMI, the greater the amount of body fat, and the more body fat, the greater the risk of cardiovascular disease, gallstones, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. The healthy range of BMI is judged to be between 18.5 and 25. Overweight is 25 to 30, and above 30 is obese. There are exceptions to this classification, since it is possible to have a high BMI not from having too much fat, but from having greater lean body mass. Arnold Schwarzenegger, at the peak of his bodybuilding career, had a BMI of 31, putting him in the obese category. Michael Jordan, in his prime, had a BMI in the 25 to 27 range. That would have classified him as overweight, but most of us would be happy to be in his uh, rather expensive shoes. These, though, are rare cases. The vast majority of people with high BMI are carrying around extra fat. Now for a nuance. A number of studies that have examined the relationship between death rates and BMI have found a surprising result. As one might expect, the relationship is U-shaped, with mortality increasing both as BMI increases or drops significantly. The observation that extreme overweight or underweight is associated with greater risk of death is not surprising. What is surprising is that the bottom of the U lands in the slightly overweight region, implying that people who pack a few extra pounds live longer. And curiously, according to Danish researchers, over the last 30 years, the bottom of the curve has shifted even further into the overweight region. That's welcome news for the pleasantly plump. As far as an explanation goes, it may be that overweight people generally have greater risk factors for cardiovascular disease and preventative treatments such as statins and blood pressure long drugs over the last few decades have reduced mortality in the overweight group. All this requires some further thought. It would be that the association between slight overweight and reduced mortality is real, could be. Maybe some hormones produced by fat cells offer health benefits. Or maybe the extra fat is a source of extra energy for boosting the immune system. But more likely, we have to look elsewhere for an explanation. It is possible that people with lower BMI have lost weight because they have some sort of health issue that causes an earlier demise. Also, a single measurement of BMI may not give a correct picture of the situation. It matters how long an individual has been in a particular category. Someone who has recently changed BMI categories is not in the same situation as someone who has been in that category for years. When adjustments are made for body composition and years spent in a BMI category, the U-shaped curve changes into a linear one that shows the lowest mortality is indeed in the healthy range of 18.5 to 25 BMI. It is better to fall out of love with those love handles. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.